Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in downtown LA in the fashion district because I'm gonna be covering another rockin' spot tonight. I am here at one of the most popular street food spots in all of Los Angeles. This is the Alameda Night Market. It's still kind of a new night market that has come on the scene of LA, but it is already one of the most famous spots that you can check out if you want street food. There's at least 20 different food stands that I see here in this parking lot. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so exciting. I'm gonna be having some tacos, gonna be having some pizza, gonna be having some pasta. So if that's what you guys wanna see, then this is your episode. Stick all the way to the end so that you can see all this amazing Los Angeles street food at its best here in downtown. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And it looks like uh, the night market is about to open. Oh yeah, here we go. So I'm here on a Sunday around 5 p.m. and this is really the best time you want to come because it's not as crowded when you come very early. So you go into a parking lot that's on Main Street between 11th and 12th Street and you already see all of these different food stands laid out. 20 different food and drink stands and plus all the other merchandise shopping as well. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of how this whole night market looks like. It's not terribly big so I think I could do it in one shot. Both sides, you see there are food stands and these different toys and gift shops on either side. Okay, so what's gonna happen is once I get down there, you're gonna have to make a right turn and there's gonna be more food spots when you make a right. Oh, oh yeah, going down this lane now. And it looks like there's not really as many food shops on this side. Got toys. So to the right, that's where all the different shops are too, like these jewelry stands. Okay. And pasta. <laughs> Some more toys. Uh, more food spots. So you got some tacos there. And then when you loop here, this pretty much takes you back to where I started. You see? Look at that, what did I tell you? Well, I guess this is the place you gotta come for. Agua Frescas, La Monarca. You see that? Wow, look at all these colors. Oh yeah, you're gonna find this all over downtown LA, especially if you have some uh, Mexican street food. Gotta have that fresca. Oh yeah, I always gotta sample the horchata as well. This is really a uh, popular Mexican drink. Ooh, it's good. Yeah, this is the spot you definitely need to come to. La Monarca. They specialize in all these agua frescas. Well, you got another one for me? Yeah. It's the strawberry with milk with the horchata. Don't strawberry milk with the horchata? Yeah. All right, cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, I think I made my decision. Straws right there in the middle. All right, look at that. That is my strawberry milk. The first spot I'm going to eat at is Red Quesabidia Tacos. Yes, they got quite a few taco spots here. So obviously, going to try some. Oh yeah, I had birria tacos just uh, two weeks ago. Delicious birria meat, goes right on top. Yep, that's the consomme, that's the beef broth. That's really what makes this taco birria experience. Wow, starting off, three birria tacos, consomme, all this is $15. What do you think? A little bit on the pricey side maybe? You know, I always say if you go to an LA street food spot or market, you don't know what else to get. Tacos are gonna be most of the time a very safe bet, so that's why I can't leave here without trying it. So 
it's kind of crispy outside, very cheesy inside. And it's very loaded with a lot of meats. I like this uh, consomme right here. Oh yeah, it's like when you drink it, it, re it almost puts you to sleep because it's so soothing. Definitely add the lime juice because I think the lime really enhances the flavor of that consomme. It's really good if you dip this in here. That broth brings out so much flavor in this taco. And then here's another place you gotta check out, Empanadas La Flor. They specialize in some of the best empanadas in this market. Okay, it's like some corn that makes the uh, layer outside. With the chicken? With chicken, yes, okay. Potato mix. And potato, okay. <laughs> Rolled tacos. So many colors. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Right, I think it's ready. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah, good to go. Chicken and potato empanadas, three pieces for $10. What do you think? Look at all that. The salad, all this lettuce on top of it with the salsa. Mmm. Whoa, it's very hot. You gotta be careful because most of these things are made to order, which means that they're gonna fresh make them, fry them, grill them. But that's a good thing though. So yeah, when it comes out, it's just as good as if you ordered it in a sit down restaurant. I like this because it is so crispy. It is some of the crispiest empanadas I've had. It's stuffed with chicken and potatoes, which is perfect. Ah, oh, so delicious. I heard that this spot is so popular. So if you are in the Alameda night market and you're looking for the empanadas to try, it's right here. And if you want pizza, this is the place you gotta be, Cielo's. Yeah, I heard they make some really delicious pizzas here. I think this is the only place that makes pizzas actually in this market. Which one would you pick if you were here? I heard that the OG is really popular. Yeah, you see all these ingredients? I'm definitely getting that. Oh yeah, old school flipping action. So excited, tomato spread. And that is the pepperoni. And into the oven it goes, yes. How long does it cook for? Two, three minutes. Two, three minutes, pretty fast. Making good progress. I see the bubble marks on the crust. Ah, what do you think guys? Yeah, Neapolitan pizza. I think this is the first time I've had a Neapolitan pizza as street food, not just in LA, but anywhere. So I kind of noticed that as time goes by, more people fill this parking lot. It's very busy on Fridays and Saturdays. Sundays, not quite as much, more kind of like families walking around here. So it's kind of tough to get a seat, so you're just gonna have to look around for it. It is definitely Neapolitan, I can tell. The crust, you know, thin, very uh, soft. So just so you know, if you order one of these pizzas, I think you're gonna get full. So my best recommendation is when you come here, come with some friends or come with family so you can share the food. Because after one stand, I think you're pretty much done. All right, the next place I'm gonna check out is Vicky's Pupusas. This is the only place that has pupusas in the market as of this video. I heard it's super popular here. Look at that. Curtido, oh yeah. Really authentic Salvadoran. Oh yeah. See, that's the corn masa. Got some beans. Got some queso, some cheese. Oh yeah, roll it up into a ball. Smash it up a little bit. And then on the grill it goes. <laughs> Here is my pupusa. Yes, yeah, so it's a classic bean and cheese pupusa. It's very, very hot. And I asked for the curtido, and you're supposed to, because the curtido salsa traditionally goes on top of this, makes the flavor even better. Ah, oh, all right, last time I had a pupusa was at the uh, Salvadoran Street Food Night Market, which was not that long ago, actually. So yeah, this is gonna be a very familiar taste. Yeah. Tastes just like a classic pupusa. So here I noticed that it's definitely heavy on the corn masa, the layer, but then inside, very classic tasting bean and cheese. Very stringy cheese. No joke, you see that guys? Whoa, stringy cheese. 
But I'm telling you, what really adds the flavor is the vegetable and the salsa, the cordito. Without it, I mean, I'm not saying it will taste bad, but I just think that this really makes the flavor more intense, which is what you want. And it's really the traditional way to eat it as well. So if you've never had a pupusa before, this might be a good starting point here at Alameda Night Market. As you can tell guys, it is getting dark right now, so now it's truly a night market in the literal sense. And I'm getting quite full. There's so many more shops to try. I think I'll probably try like maybe two or three more and then I'm done. This one I definitely want to try because this is unique. Alameda Night Market's most uh, famous pasta. Well, they have about six different things on the menu. You can get everything from the basic spaghetti to, look at that, fettuccine, fettuccine primavera, penny vodka with shrimp. I think that's what I'm going to get because I heard that's the most popular one for $15. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, so this one has the shrimp. That's what they're cooking first. Watch it go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I haven't had a penny vodka in such a long time. Imagine that here in Alameda Night Market of all places. So here are the two things I got. This is the fettuccine primavera. And this one is the penny vodka. And check this out. It does come with some garlic bread as well. Oh yeah. It's very creamy. It's pretty much a Alfredo pasta. You know what Alfredo sauce tastes like, right? Creamy, kind of cheesy. But this one has a lot of veggies inside. But if you're more into the penny vodka, which is like a tomato-y, creamy type of sauce, then this is the one you gotta go with. Ooh, I think that's my favorite of the two. I like it because I'm really into that tomato-based penny vodka flavor. It's so delicious. I feel bread always com completes a pasta Italian meal. So this is really one of the most unique things that you can find here at the Alameda Night Market. So it's not just one type of cuisine, like Mexican cuisine. They do have Mexican, but they also have Salvadoran, they have American, they have Italian, they have a lot of different kinds of desserts. I mean, they got a whole bunch of different stuff here. Yeah, so guys, check out Cynthia at El Condor's Pasta, the most awesome pasta you'll find here at Alameda Night Market. We're expecting you guys. Thank you. Okay, now it's some dessert time. So what I think I'm going to do is try this spot. I heard a lot of great things about it. Oh yeah, sweet rolls and more. Artisan rolled ice cream. So as you can see, this is the menu. Create your own ice cream. So for $12, you have a vanilla base, but then you can mix in any one of these, plus the toppings. Doesn't it sound so fun? All right, guys, so this is Joel right here. He's gonna be making the artisan ice cream. Oh, yeah, so I think that's the vanilla base right there. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this ice cream is gonna freeze. Really, it's like it's really gonna freeze. I know, it's almost like watching a teppanyaki show, but with dessert. This isn't the first time I've had this ice cream, but it's the first time I've had it as a street food, definitely. Ooh, yeah, look at that, what a masterpiece, huh? Almost looks like a candy cane but I believe it's Oreo flavor. Let's try it. Oreo flavor, that's pretty cool. All right, so now I wanna try the ice cream. Mm. Wow. It's a very delicious ice cream. Another cool thing that I learned is that the ice cream here is all made from scratch, like even the cream it's all family recipes, so nothing is store-bought, none of that preservative stuff, all made by hand. And even, of course, when they make it up there, made by hand as well. So this is really as fresh and, and as um, 
I don't know, what do you say, organic of an ice cream that you'll have? So like I said, it's not just about food. They have a lot of toys and a lot of clothing here too, such as this one right here. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Hi, hello, hello. Hi. Hi, what is this? What do you have here? So I have toys. Toys? Yeah. So I have guns, I have... Uh, guns? Okay. Airplanes. Airplanes. RCs. RCs. Okay, oh, you even got like purses too? What are these? Uh, they're plushies. Plushies? Yeah, plushies. Hi. Get a couple seconds. Hi. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It's almost like a toy parrot. It just repeats yeah, everything you say. So this is Unit Toy Kids. This is Janet right Janet. here. Oh yeah, so if you guys want to take your kids here, they're going to have a fun time because they have some of the most rocking things here. Let's end it off with a drink. They do have a pretty popular boba spot here at the Alameda Night Market. Boba Anita. Is this one the uh, Thai, tea. Thai tea? Got it. Oh man, drinking Thai tea so late at night. <laughs> That's how I roll. Yeah, we add the milk. Yes, definitely got to have the milk and the Thai tea. Wow, it looks delicious. So yeah, this is Luke right here. He's the guy you gotta meet uh, here at Boba Nita <laughs> for your boba here at Alameda Night Market. You could be here all night because there's so many food spots to try and I'm getting full so I have to come back some other night. It really looks like uh, like a carnival, uh, a fair or something when you come out here because they got the food, they got the desserts, they got the toy shops, they got a lot of rock and music here as well. So overall, it's a pretty fun environment to be in. So if you come here to downtown and you're looking for some really bonafide Los Angeles street food, then this is the place I guess you gotta be, the Alameda Night Market here in downtown Los Angeles, where you can get tacos, pasta, pizza, everything you want. So yeah, remember that, Alameda Night Market. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoyed what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. Also comment on the section below because if you've been here before, I'd love to hear what is your favorite food spot at the Alameda Night Market. And finally subscribe because more of these awesome food and travel videos are coming out. Well, I hope you have a rocking night tonight, folks, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.